Hi everybody, this tutorial is about MOLP fundamentals, multi objective linear programming. Here, the basic part of MOLP is it has multiple objectives. And then, how to identify such questions? Like when you have, this is very much closely related to your goal programming. To identify MOLP is when they talk about something approximations of target for multiple objectives. That means the problems don't provide explicit values for target. They say like they want something with minimal of this, but you can find some more sub-optimal targets. What we try to do is find an optimal value for all objectives rather than maximizing or minimizing a particular or a single objective. They are very much similar to your GP. Typically, an MOLP will have multiple objectives, that is objective 1, objective 2, objective 3 likewise. And they have normal hard LP constraints. And your final objective is to attain a reasonable resonance with all objectives. That means you have to satisfy the minimum requirement of all objectives and find a solution which minimizes the maximum percentage deviation from the optimal values of individual objectives or individual targets. How we solve MOLP is first we find the variables associated with MOLP. This is a normal variable, normal fundamental variables and you have an extra decision variable called Q. We will talk about Q later but uh, to solve the normal LPs we don't need Q. We need the Q only to solve the last uh, part or the final part of MOLP. Q is that uh, min max variable. In MOLP it is the final objective and it is also a decision variable. The objective in MOLP is to minimize the maximum percentage deviation from the optimal values of individual targets or individual objectives. So, how to formulate an MOLP? You have multiple objectives, such as in normal LP or ILP, you'll have just one function, right? Minimize F1. A function of x1 and x2 or x3 like variables or you uh, can have a maximize f1 in let's consider like we have three multiple objectives minimize f1 minimize f2 and maximize f3 the multiple objectives what we discussed before is the main characteristics of an molp and let's say there is a weight associated with each objective. Let's say one objective is to maximize profit. One objective is to maximize uh, number of units sold. One objective could be like uh, uh, minimize number of or amount of waste produced. So uh, generally if the production is high, waste, produ waste production will also be higher. So, you need to find the relation between the minimal waste production and at the same time achieving the most optimal sales. This is what you do. You have multiple targets and you find a value or a suboptimal value that satisfies all conditions and all objectives equally. That's something in resonance. So, the next part that you do is constraints. You, this is the most uh, easiest part. You have normal hard constraints and uh, C1 and Cij is the constraints like 4x1 plus 5x2 is greater than or equals to uh, 30 or 30 whatever. Uh, Ri is the constant requirement. This is the, the most simplest part in MOLP. Now comes determining the individual target. How you have a problem is 
multiple objectives and constraints. Now let's forget these two lines. If you have this part and this constraint, you know how to solve it, right? So we're going to follow that approach. We're going to solve it for objective one, hiding these two. Then we'll solve it individually for objective two. Then we'll solve it individually for objective three with the same constraints. So that's the next step that you do. Individual the target, uh, determine the individual target. That is, when you solve objective one, that is minimize F1 with these constraints, the minimum value of that objective is your target value, target T1. Similarly, when you solve objective two, the minimum value would be T2. Same, when you solve it again for objective three, would be T3. This, you can do it in separate Excel worksheet or you can do it in the same worksheet just changing the objective function value that is the formula in the objective function but I recommend when you're doing this for each objective create three different Excel sheets and have different formulas that is F1 in worksheet 1 F2 oh sorry this should be F2 and this should be F3 I'll just change it. Hold on. Yeah, so going ahead, you can see like uh, in the first objective, we minimize F1, and the target value of minimizing F1 is T1. When we try to minimize objective 2, the function F2, the value that we get after solving it is T2. Same for objective 3, target is T3. The next step is to determine the possibility deviation for an objective which says minimize the target the optimal solution that you get that is the target value is the minimum so any change in x1 and x2 for that objective function will always produce a value which would be greater because the minimal objective the target value is the minimal value. Any change or any suboptimal value will always be that is any actual values other than uh, the optimal x1 and x2 will produce a value which will be greater than the targeted value. And vice versa for the maximized objective question. When you have a thing that does maximize a function the value that you get is the maximum value so any change in x and y will produce a suboptimal solution which will always be lesser than the maximal objective that is the actual value is lesser so t minus f of x1 and x2 in case uh, this will represent the deviation target minus function value or the actual value represents the deviation divided by the target is the percentage deviation this is for the maximize and this is for the minimize objectives now we have three different kind of objectives okay sorry just hold on so there was a minor mistake here typo mistake I have rectified it so in objective 1, the percentage deviation D1, it's a minimized thing. So any change in X and Y will have a greater value. So actual minus target is the deviation divided by the target gives me the deviation value for objective 1. Alright, so D1 represents the deviation for objective 1. Similarly, D2 is the objective for, is the deviation from objective 2. And uh, D3 is the percentage deviation from objective 3. Uh, these two are minimize objectives, and this one is maximize object. So once you calculate the percentage deviation, a normal GP is like minimize the weighted percentage deviation, right? So this is what you do. In MOLP, you minimize the maximum weighted percentage deviation 
that is you created a variable q and in addition to all previous hard constraints that you had you will have three other constraints that is weighted percentage deviation of objective 1 less than q weighted percentage deviation of objective 2 less than equals to q same for w3 and d3 and q is the maximum percentage deviation and your target is to minimize q q is the decision variable and objective as well so we solve values for t1, t2 and t3 in three separate excel sheet and we have another excel sheet where we can calculate the min max objective q with uh, weighted deviations as an additional constraints. Thank you. This is all about MOLP. We'll solve uh, two problems, one on one each on GP and MOLP, and this will clear your concepts further. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.